Welcome everybody to your special private reading for the week of November. The well, it's going to be the twenty sixth, well, the twenty seventh through the thirtieth, towards the end of the month. Um, I was contemplating on whether or not to release this or just uh, hold off because I'm going through some major positive changes. So the website is not going to be up right now due to those changes, but I will reveal much more in due time as I'm guided to. Um, I don't mean to hold things back from y'all, but I have to be um, cautious and make sure that I'm not uh, moving ahead too quickly with revealing everything. All right. Um, it's very positive. I'm very excited about it, like extremely excited about it, but I have to, you know, hold my horses a bit. All right. So I'm going to provide, um, I'm going to try to do all 12 signs and provide maybe a five card spread as to what might be coming towards you throughout this week dealing with love. And again, the website won't be up. So if you would like a private reading, you will have to come to me via the email, which will be in the description of the video. But you can enjoy this video and um, see how things might go for you. So much appreciation, everybody. Lots of love. I hope you have a happy holiday season, especially Thanksgiving. Do enjoy and uh, lots of happiness. All right. So uh, let's see what's going on with you. Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for November 27th to the 30th of 2019. So in love for a lot of you, this is a request from the universe to grab all the energy and patience that you can because uh, you're going to need it because it could be a very frustrating uh, next few days. And I say this because of uh, the temperament that, you know, the explosion I see as the momentum kind of builds up from a, uh, uh, from the beginning to the end of the week and I feel this is often where we're having to do things by the book you know if there are certain rules and regulations that you need to follow if especially if I'm giving you the warning to watch your temperament don't just spaz out on people don't just say certain things the first thing that comes to your mind you may want to say that it doesn't mean hold back always say what you feel like you need to say and what you want to say but be careful of um you know how you come through I always tell people that uh, your mouth can be one of the things that can block your blessings in a way or slow them down because of how we might respond to somebody and we only learn this through you know your own experience and i feel the person that you might be dealing with and it's almost like this person has made a decision to not even be bothered or they may be staying kind of where they are and whether this is the connection with you say for instance you're with somebody in a marriage and that person doesn't want to leave and they're saying you know what i'm staying i'm not going nowhere and you can't make me leave <laughs> that kind of thing or if you want to get to know somebody and uh, this particular person wants to get to know you better you may be uh they may be spoken for i mean and they're not willing to make those changes right now but it's like they're making still making a firm decision to kind of do what they want to do but i can see the conflict within you is um, very intense is a bit volatile and because of your your confrontational response that's there it's almost like yeah i want to focus on myself now it comes through in some way for some of you you're for some of you you're not really given enough of the emotional support or support to your partner that they may want and deserve and even if there are financial concerns you may not be letting that person know about it but i feel this is you letting that person know there are some financial issues that i might be going through being honest about that just so that they know what's going on keeping those kind of secrets is not really doing you know you any good or the other person any good and there could be some issues with somebody uh stealing money or taking money to try to make things better in their lives but karmically that's not going to be good it's not going to work out it always comes back to bite you in the butt and people usually find it out one way or the other so i feel like some of you might be dealing with a relationship or connection that you might feel that could you know go somewhere but with this queen of wands in reverse uh, aries leo sagittarius um just depends on who you might be talking to i feel like because of how you might be responding to them, if you do have any, any resentment towards this person or vice versa, there these things will happen repeatedly. Like you'll be stuck in something that does not change your emotions, the way that you say things, the way that you think about this person. If you don't work on disconnecting from them and focusing on you and your own happiness and not worried about how this person 
is responding. You know, you can't really um, move away from these cycles that you need to break. So uh, be careful with uh, how you deal with this particular energy this week because it's not going to be, um, it is going to be tough, I feel, for some of you. But with temperance there in the emperor, um, those are really good energies to, you know, take your time. And I feel a lot of you will move towards like the, t the scales may tip towards you being able to handle it. And some of you might not be able to and you might spaz out. So that's what it seems. What, whatever this person is doing, they don't seem to be coming out. They don't seem to be communicating with you. And there seems to be some kind of uh, disconnect from you. So a lack of communication or honesty being there. So there's still maybe some family issues that could be going on family things that could be keeping you away from somebody whether it's a mother father father whoever it might be that could be interfering in your love relationship and that could be very uh, toxic and they should not um have a bearing on you know what you choose to do with your life so be aware of that and try to forgive any parents or people that might be surrounding you siblings that could affect your love relationship so um, that's going to be the energy for this week. Just be aware. I feel like this is a warning to kind of give you for how you might respond to somebody's actions or the lack thereof. All right. So much love, much light to you. I wish you the very best and a happy holidays to you.